Hey guys, it's me, Dan. So I was going through my records the other day, putting plastic sleeves on ones that don't ha that didn't have them to kind of bunny proof things. And I noticed a bunch of records that I have that I've, I haven't opened yet. So there might be some more later, but this is just from my bottom shelf. So I figured I'd just run through them real quick with y'all, open them up. First, we have Slim Twig. Thank you for sticking with Slim. I've had this for a long time. I grabbed it a bunch of years ago. DFA sticker. I don't know much about Slim Twig, but the thing that sticks out to me about this record is it has a cover of Cannabis by Serge Gainsbourg. Serge Gainsbourgo. All songs by Slim Twig. Uh, yeah, right. B6, written by Serge Gainsbourg. That song is just a super badass instrumental, you know, riff-heavy track, and I like the the vibe of this man's cover. And to be honest, I haven't listened to it very much. Seems like a Appalachian freak. If he's even American, I apologize for my lack of knowledge. Let's check out the plaques. Oh, cool. Flecky, swampy. It's like the, this color I would call swamp. Thank you for sticking with Slim. Very next, Disco Jazz by Rupa. Oh, if you know, you know. It's like that. Yeah, I grabbed this from Laundrette Records. Little record store in Port Richmond, Philadelphia. Owned slash operated, I don't know. Uh, opened up kind of recently, a couple years ago by Mike V. Eh. If you know, you know. Really cool, really nice stuff in there. Go check it out. Laundrette. So Rupa Disco Jazz is, oh, put out by Numero Group, looks like. If you know, you know. <laughs> Barely disco and hardly jazz. Rupa Bishwas, 1982 LP, is the halfway point between Bollywood and Balerica. Perfect fusion of East and West. Synth intricately weave around one another for 37 transcendent minutes. What are we, uh, what are we, Dave P over here? If you know, you know. Um, this is a really cool record. So I, I feel like it came out in 82, but this feels like a, you know, repress. Uh, right, right, Numero Group, we went over that. Uh, this is a Numero Group sleeve. And then, wow, I was not expecting this. Gorgeous. Oh my dongus. I am kind of blown away. A sobering color combination. Oh, 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 yeah. Pop this on. Disco Jazz by Rupa. So fun. It'll have you going like this for 37 minutes. It's really good. It's really good stuff. Next, ooh, Nala Sinefro. This record is called Space 1.8. But I was telling my colleague the other day that I feel like it should be called Spaces 1 through 8 or some shit like that. I don't mean to sound like a snob. It's very cool, Space 1.8, because the tracks are Space 1, Space 2, Space 3, onward till Space 8. But nerdy details aside, this reminds me of Doopy Time, if you know, you know. Wow, so does this. I wonder if Nala is a Doopy's fan. So this is um ambient jazz. That's how I would I would uh, describe it. Uh, we have got a nice black record here. Very, 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 very simple design. Quite elegant. Quite elegant. Matching the musical stylings. Beautiful sleeve here. Elegant. She's UK based. Kind of made waves in the experimental jazz scene out there since like 2019-ish. Really good. I re-listened to this yesterday as well, and it was very. Uh, I, I was I was very focused. I was able to focus well. It's not rhythm or beat heavy. It's just beautiful ambient jazz. That's how I would describe it, very basically. So, moving on. Ooh, Yasuaki Shimizu. Music made for music, music for commercials, which is apparently made to measure volume 12, which is Yasuaki Shimizu. I got into Yasuaki Shimizu by way of their legendary, epic, mysterious album, Kakashi. Kakashi, AKA the one with the cat. Same artist responsible for Mariah? Self-titled thing? Listen to this before you listen to this, please. I just think you'll like it better and then you'll seek out their other works from there. Nice. So this this album, from what I remember, I mean, I haven't listened to this lately, but it's, uh, it's a lot of like part ones and twos. Let me show you the track list here so you can get kind of an idea. It's instrumental, music made for uh, commercials. We'll have to do your own research on that one. And finally, I've had this one for a while too. Don't know why I've never opened it. I know why. Because it's unlistenable. Just kidding. We love Wolf Eyes. Wolf Eyes are jazz. A little less ambient. 
I wonder if, am I crazy or do they? It's, 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 uh, you know, wolf eyes. Come on, you don't have to. Boom! Oh, hit his own mane! I am a problem. Mind in pieces. Three tracks per side. It's noise. I guess it's noise. It is, but it's more accessible than harsh noise. It's more no, noise jazz, if that's a thing. I, I like Wolf Eyes a lot. American experimental Detroit. Come on. You know Wolf Eyes. Um that's it. Wolf Eyes the type of the type of shit. Wolf Eyes the type of dude that you you're listening to it and your um your family member uh, uh, comes in your room and say are you okay? <laughs> like that kind of thing. Uh, so thanks for sticking with Danny. Thanks for so th thanks for st so thanks for sticking with Dasani. Shit. Dan thanks for sticking with so thanks for sticking with Dan. Thanks for sticking with Dan and Biddy the Bon Bon. Got some more stuff coming at you soon. What are you listening to? Tell me. What should I be getting? All day I think of random stuff that I love and look it up and see if it's on vinyl, see what, what it costs. And I, I, got, I got stuff coming to us. You know, I got stuff coming to us so we can open it together. All right. Thank you. See you tomorrow.